start. Um, we've been having some Facebook issues. It's been kind of crashing and coming and going. So give us a few minutes. We're just going to make sure before I jump in and start that things are not going to be crashing around me. Um, and we can actually make it through the whole video itself. Um, so give me like one minute. We're just going to make sure that it doesn't crash again because it's already crashed twice. So one minute. All right, guys, we are actually live, and I made sure I kind of waited that one minute to kind of make sure things weren't going to go crashing around again um, on me. So we're going to go ahead and jump right on in. Happy New Year, guys. This is the first time I've been live since um, my 12 days of Christmas. I took a little break, took a little uh, time off of social media, and now we're going to jump right on back in and get this year going. So I want to welcome you guys for all new um, people. This is Chef Jocelyn Live Demo, and usually every Thursday I'm live doing a cooking demo. And I want to welcome you guys to my new series, 30 Minutes or Less Until Soups, Chilies, and Stews. And so basically what this is about, um, this series is uh, uh, chilies, stews, soups that you can get on the table within 30 minutes. Um, and this is kind of my take on the soup. Um, so that's kind of what this series is going to be about. Um, I will have some other things interjected in between this series so you guys can kind of have uh, some things to go along with the soup. But tonight we're just going to start with the actual soup. And then as we kind of build throughout this series, I'll start adding some uh, different sides, maybe some different toppings on the soup. But tonight's soup is going to be the Cajun sausage and potato soup. And the one thing I love so much about this soup is pretty much everything um, minus two things in this whole recipe that I didn't have in my kitchen. Um, and I absolutely love that because it's something that you guys can just kind of throw into um, a large stock pot or a Dutch oven. And guys, just so you know, I got a new baby for Christmas. Actually, I got two new babies. Um, this is my new Dutch oven, my four quart Dutch oven that I got. She doesn't have a name, but eventually she will have a name. But she's teal, and she's absolutely gorgeous, and I love her. Um, so tonight we're using a four-quart stock pot. If you guys don't have a stock pot, um, a four-quart, sorry, Dutch oven, then you can just use a regular stock pot, or you can just use um, a, just a regular pot. You don't necessarily have to have a Dutch oven, but it makes soup much better, and I, it's just a preference of mine. So. Tonight we're going to do um, the Cajun sausage and potato soup. So for this recipe, you'll need four cups of, um, guys, it doesn't matter what brand. It's really up to you. I know our writer has a brand, and then this is just my local grocery. Um, it's hash browns with peppers and onions. Um, you need cream of celery, chicken broth or chicken stock, Cajun seasoning, you need heavy cream, salt, pepper. Um, you will need some water and I'll go get that. And then the main uh, ingredient is andouille sausage. Um, and so this is the brand that I use. It's a Cajun smoked sausage. Um, I don't, I mean, you guys can kind of use whatever. I use Cajun. You guys can use, like if you don't have this brand or you don't have an andouille sausage that you can kind of go and get, you can just use regular sausage. I know there are plenty of like other smoked sausages. I know there are, um, I know Eckridge and there's another brand that uses like, has like a jalapeno or a spicy sausage you guys can use. Um, but this is just a brand that I use for um, my uh, Cajun, uh, for my Cajun. So that's, that's what I'll be using tonight for 
my soup. This should be done. Um, this recipe is usually done 20 minutes. It should be ready to go. And really this recipe, what's really going to take onto this recipe is the potato. So I'm just going to go ahead and start dumping things in. I've already preheated my Dutch oven. I'm going to take my potatoes and I'm going to go ahead and get those in. I need to get another cup. And I wish you guys could like really smell this because it's amazing. So I only have three cups in there, so we're gonna do another one. You guys, this can actually, um, you're just, I didn't say this in the beginning, but what I want you guys to know is my potatoes were pretty frozen. Um, they weren't necessarily um, at room temp, they were frozen. So frozen is actually okay. So you can pull these directly out of the oven and put these directly in. And I'm gonna grab a cup of water with mine. So I'm gonna grab a cup of water. Just gonna dump that in there. We're gonna take one can of cream of celery. You guys, if you don't necessarily like celery, you can substitute this with cream of chicken. Um, that would be, be super good. Down here um, in Austin where I'm at, they have cream of, I think I saw cream of jalapeno, which sounds super good. I've not tried that, but any type of cream of anything, you guys can go ahead and um, use on this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken um, broth in here. And as you see me, I'm using this as a measuring cup just to make sure I get all of the cream out. And I'm pretty much done. So we're gonna go ahead and dump the rest of that. That was, it ended up working out great. But what I try to do is make sure that everything is out of the can, waste not, want not, guys. I just wanna make sure I get everything out. And the best way to do that is get your liquid into the soup pan and make sure that you are completely clean. All right, so we have all that in there. And then the next thing that you wanna put in there is gonna be your Cajun seasoning. I just have this one and so you can always make your own or you can buy here. I just went and bought mine, but usually it has garlic, um, black pepper, cayenne pepper, oregano, and chili peppers, salt. Uh, onion, paprika, and red and green peppers. So it's really up to you. This option as well too. Guys, you can up the spice. The first time I made this, I made it, <laughs> I made it with two, um, two teaspoons of Cajun seasoning and it ended up being uber spicy and that was a no bueno in this house except for one person and that would be my husband because he likes it that way. So basically what you're gonna do is take the first two, three, four, five, six. You're gonna take the first six ingredients and dump them into your stock pot. Make sure you're on medium, okay? Then make sure you have a spoon. Um, I like to call it a spoon. And then I'm gonna dump uh, this time, guys, so you can kind of see, I'm gonna go ahead and dump my um, andouille sausage in. I'm, I'm gonna show you a quicker picture um, over here of what the andouille sausage actually looks like. So this is what my andouille sausage looks like. On the inside has like some spices and pepper. Um, it's actually smoked and it has a really good um, Cajun flavor. So you wanna make sure you use the entire package. Um, when you're using this, um, you don't want to skip or skip out. This is, this is gonna be your protein for your soup, okay? So. I've got my heat on. I'm gonna go ahead and dump the rest of this in here. And then we are going to stir, okay? You're just gonna completely stir it, combine it together, okay? And what you wanna do is bring it to a boil. And how you're gonna know this soup is done is when your actual potatoes are actually done. Um, they'll be um, I want to call them tender, not necessarily smushy, but they'll be tender to the touch, and that way you'll know that it's done. But right now, this is the way your soup will look. Just kind of showing you. Don't leave any meat out, guys. So you can see. 
All right, so I went ahead and turned my heat up. This usually takes the full, you know, 20 minutes to get those, um, to get those potatoes um, tender. And so what you want to make sure, if you wanted to cook a little bit faster, you can always de, uh, defrost your potatoes ahead of time and that way it makes it a little bit easier for you to cook. Um, what I forgot to do is add the salt and pepper um, in here. You really don't need a whole bunch, guys, just because that Cajun seasoning is pretty potent. Um, salt and pepper is just, you know, all the way up to you and what you want for your spice level. So I, I do cover this and I do let it tend to simmer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait a little bit. Um, and as you can see, the only thing that's left out is the heavy cream. The heavy cream is gonna be the last thing that's gonna go in there. Um, what I say this is used for is to cool the heat down or to bring the heat down out of the soup. And I'm not talking about like Heat hot, I mean spicy hot, is a way to kind of cool the spiciness down. So if you want to dial it up, just know that once you put the cream in there, it'll kind of take it down a couple notches. Um, so as I'm going along, um, guys, again, some like really quick tips um, on how you can like make this into your own, change it up. I know I talked a little bit earlier about how if you don't want to use cream of celery or if celery is not your big ordeal, please feel free. You can use cream of mush, nope. Cream of chicken, um, cream, I know down here they have a uh, cream of jalapeno and I think I saw it was another type of like pepper that had cream of something else as, as well down here and it wasn't um, a name brand, it was like the store brand that was making that particular thing. So please feel free, if you, if you are not a celery person, please don't feel stuck. If you wanna add some earthiness to this recipe, you can use cream of mushroom. That's always an option for you. Um, it, it's not my number one favorite, but that doesn't mean that you can't um, kind of play around um, a little bit as well too. The other thing about this soup, guys, that you can do is you can also change out um, the type of sausage. I know nowadays there's there's like a vegetarian or vegan sausage. I have not tried that, so please don't hold me to that. I do know they have chicken sausage. They have, um, um, at the big club that we shop at, they have like a spicy habanero kind of chicken sausage that we tend to buy, and that ends up going well with this particular soup. Um, Chicken sausage, any type, even if you don't want any spice in your chicken sausage and you just want it plain, that will go in here as well. And just use your Cajun seasoning if you want to amp up the spice a little bit. Uh, as, I, as I also said, there's like, there's different types of smoked sausage. I know there's a jalapeno. I know there's like a jalapeno and cheese. Um, I know there's turkey sausage if you guys are on, you know, the lesser calorie intake and I know um, at some places, the turkey sausage is infused with different things, so you guys are more than welcome to try that out as well. Anything to substitute, if you don't do the spice or if you want a different type of spice, you are more than welcome to substitute this type of sausage out. Don't, please don't, um, please don't get stuck on the andouille sausage. It's just a, it's just a preference of mine. Uh, kind of a preference of this house that kind of gives it that good smoky Cajun flavor. The other thing I do want to say to you guys, if the Cajun is a little bit too much for you or you don't like the Cajun seasoning, you can always dial it back. Um, two, two teaspoons tends to give it a really spicy after kick. Um, so even if you're at one, that's where I live at, two would give you that nice kick. Um, if you don't, if you need less spice, then you can always graduate it down to half um, and let the and let the actual type of sausage that you use take on the flavor. So right now I have kind of like double flavor going on into my soup. So it's really about how much flavor you can infuse into your soup with the less minimal things that you can do. Because we don't want to like this recipe has seven components. You know, the less that we can get away with, the better it becomes. So I'm gonna check on this while I'm talking to you guys. It's already bubbling. 
um, and this is it ends up smelling real good and I wish by now somebody invent like smell a vision so you guys can actually come take um, into this also guys if you can think of other things like if you want to incorporate other types of vegetables into this you can do that as well too don't please don't limit yourself like I always say to you guys don't limit yourself to the recipe itself try to you know live outside of the boundaries the recipe is just a kind of like a guideline onto you know what you guys are trying to kickstart up do you guys have any questions as I'm talking um, I know soup like I said 20 minutes at its most the biggest thing with this is to make sure your potatoes are tender if you like them a little crunchy then you can get it done a little bit sooner than that um, but it's really completely up to you Another thing that goes well with this particular soup is if you guys have like a crusty garlic bread that'll go well with this. We just eat it plain because I feel like it has enough in here and I don't pair it with anything else. Um, a couple bowls and you know you're pretty good and set and hearty. Um, this weather is very tripolar down here in Austin. One minute we are freezing with sleet and ice. The next minute we are um, just cold the next minute we are 70 degrees the next day so this weather is giving me pretty much the blues and I can't figure out where I need to stay but um, back to the recipe if there are no questions again guys do not limit yourself to if you don't have a Dutch oven um, please don't limit yourself to what you can and can't do all right, guys, so I'm going to show you here. It's bubbling. David said hi. Hi. Hi, David. And I mean, your husband. Oh, and hi, Patricia. Peanut. And Patricia said looks good. Hi, Patricia. Um, so um, this is exactly kind of what it looks like. Um, you'll get it full on broth. That's what the soup ends up looking like. Um, the potatoes. Yes, I am touching it with my bare hands. Um, guys, if you don't want to do that, then you can always, always grab a fork and see if it's fork, you know, fork tender. So I just usually put it in a spoon, try not to pick up the sausage as much, pick up the potato, um, and see if it's fork tender and if I can actually find the potato. <laughs> so it looks like right now it is fork tender. And what I mean by that is that you can actually pierce it and that you can stick a, stick a fork through it. That's what I call fork tender. Um, and that way it's still going. So this soup is, is ready. Um, it has come to a full boil. And so what you wanna do, once you have gotten it to a full boil and it is still ready and rambling to go, you can grab your favorite bowl. Um, I'm just gonna grab a bowl out of my cabinet so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. Um, my trusty red bowl. And what you want to do before you add your heavy whipping cream in, um, and if you can show them how it's bubbling, and it is fork tender, guys. So right now, this is your roaring bubble. I'm going to decrease the heat um, and really just turn the heat off since my potatoes are good to go. And then what you want to do is add um, a half a cup of heavy cream. I already know this is a half a cup. I've already pre-measured it, so we're good to go. All right. Can you hand me that black? And I'm going to pull this off of the heat. And what you want to do, guys, is make sure this is off the heat or your heat is off before you dump your cream in there. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and dump my cream in there. Oh, and I meant to tell you guys, if you, d the cream um, just kind of gives it a creamy taste. If you don't want to add the cream in here, you can just eat it as is. And there's nothing the matter with eating this as is. This just adds the creamy texture to it. It's super good. Again, like I said, it does take the, the Cajun and the heat down a little bit. So if you, if you want it as is and you just kind of want a brothy soup, um, you are more than welcome to skip this step and omit the uh, heavy cream. But I'm going to 
add the heavy cream just again like I said it's just kind of kind of give it would you um, so they can see all right so you guys can kind of see what this cream does to it you're just gonna kind of stir it on it and it changes the texture of the soup okay and we're done all right and so I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit. It's actually ready to eat. I'm gonna pour it in my bowl. This is actually ready to go directly out of the bowl. And you can just pour it on into your bowl if that's what you want to do. But that's kind of, that is what it's gonna look like once you're completely done, okay? All right, so soup today in 20 minutes or less, as long as you have all everything ready to go. It should be ready to it should be ready and willing to dump all in here minus the heavy cream and get your soup to start it and this should be on your table within 20 minutes or less um, this series is all dedicated to 30 minutes or left less with soup stews and chili so everything that I'm gonna be bringing to you guys can be to your table within 30 minutes or less because I know we're all busy People don't want to be sending over the oven nowadays and we, you know, want to get out there and live our best lives as much as we possibly can. All right, guys. So as always, as I say to you, if you did not tune in to the live, um, if you did not tune into the live broadcast, please make sure if you have questions or comments or anything like that, please leave them in the comment section and I usually get back to you as, you know, as soon as possible or when I'm able to jump, excuse me, until I'm able to jump back on and check it out. But um, please don't feel, please feel free to leave those there. That way I know if you guys have any questions or if you guys decide to make this recipe, let me know what it looks like. Let me know how, you know, how it turned out for you. If you followed it to the T or if you kind of expanded it out, I would like to know that as well and put your picture in the comments so I can actually see it um, and actually see what, how your soup turned out. Um, so again, guys, it's been a lovely night and Don't happy. Yell said looks good. Who? Danielle. Hello, Danielle. Um, it has been a great night. This soup has been brought to you, you know, within 30 minutes or less. Um, I'm gonna log out of here and we're gonna eat a little bit of dinner. Um, again, if you are watching a broadcast and you have questions that I maybe didn't cover in the broadcast, just leave it in the comment section and I will actually get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So until next week, guys, um, you can catch me on Facebook at Chef Jocelyn um, every day, Instagram, uh, Chef underscore Jocelyn, and um, that's kind of where you can catch me. Um, or if you guys have questions, feel free to email me. Um, and the recipe is in the comment section pinned to the top if you guys are actually looking forward. Um, this recipe is a picture by picture base. So you guys, you know, it makes it a little bit easier to follow. All right, guys. Happy New Year. Happy 2018. I hope the first three weeks of the new year have been great for you. And I would catch you guys next Thursday live. Talk to you later.